Okay, everybody, let's do uh, one of the heaps questions. So let's do the largest trip products. And heaps are kind of an interesting data structure that you don't use all that often, maybe, but it's still good to know about them and they can lead to some algorithms that are quite efficient. So I'm uh, going to also explain a little bit how they work, but um, yeah, I'll also let you read about them and stuff. So, okay, here are this problem where we're given an input array, so a, a list of integers, and we're supposed to output another list of integers where the values in the output list are a product of the three largest elements out of the array from zero to i. So basically you want to keep track of a, a, a running, uh, yeah, a running list of, of the product of the three largest elements that you see. So if you imagine kind of looping over the list and keeping track of the, always, always keeping track of the three largest elements that you've seen and multiply those and that's what they want you to output uh, in a list here. So let's look at an example. Um, okay, so if this is the input array, for the first two outputs, you just output minus one. Uh, but then, once you have three or more elements, you output the product of the three largest, right? So here they're just three, so it's just gonna be one times two times three, which is six, right? And then, okay, then you go up to four, and they want you to output the product of the three largest elements. So that'll be two times three times four, which is 24. And then you keep going. So it's gonna be one to five, and then it's gonna be three times four times five, which is 60. And here there's another example that you can go through, but basically it's pretty simple. You just wanna keep track of the three largest elements uh, as, you, as you go over the list, right? All right, so in order to solve this problem, we're gonna use heaps. So, and in Python, there's a heap queue package that you can use for if you want to use a heap data structure. And so heaps basically are binary trees for which every parent node has a value less than or equal to any of its children. Um, so the key thing with heaps is that they always keep track of, well, in this case, they keep track of the minimum element in the in the in the set of, of data, right? So you can always access the 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 minimum value, right? So I'll show you how this works, how the heap queue works in Python. So in order to create a heap, first you need to create like an empty list. Let's call it H for heap. Uh, well, so let's do that, right? Sorry. Okay, and then you need also need to import this heap queue thing. So import heap queue. And then, and then we can add something to the to the heap. So you do that by doing heap q dot heap push. So here are some of the the methods for heap q. Uh, the main ones are heap push and heap pop. Those are the most important ones. So to push something on, you use heap push, and then you give it uh, the heap and an item you want to push onto the heap. Uh, so this pushes an item onto the heap, maintaining the heap invariant, meaning it always keeps track of, of what that minimum is. Right. So I'm gonna do H and then I'm gonna add three as my item, okay? And so that doesn't return anything. What it did is it changed H, right? So H is now this. It looks like, like a list. Uh, it looks like the regular Python list, but it's, it's, uh, it's kind of really, it, it's kind of a heap. Uh, so let me push maybe another item so let's do 30 and let's look at h so now we have 3 and 30 um, let's add 2 okay and now 2 2 is going to be at the beginning here so the, the first element in this h list is always going to be the minimum right that's that's the key property of, of this uh of this data structure. And so things might not be in order here necessarily, but the very first element is always gonna be the minimum. And you can, um, yeah, so you can heap push and heap pop. So if you wanted to remove uh, an element from the, from the heap, meaning uh, removing the minimum, right? So pop the smallest item off the heap, maintaining the heap invariant. Okay, so we're gonna do, we're gonna 
do heap pop of h here, right? So that's going to output 2. And of course, 2 is removed now from our heap. So those are the basics of, of using heaps uh, with, with heap q in Python. So we're going to use this data structure to, uh, to solve this problem here. So back to the problem. We're given a list of n, n integers, right? And we're going to keep track of the, 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 the largest three numbers in the list that we see so far. So we're going to have a loop, right? OK, for e in the array, e for element, OK? Um, and let, let us create a, our output variable is going to be a list and let us create a heap right which we initialize to be an empty list okay so for each element in the given input array we are going to push that onto the heap so we do heap q as i showed uh, before so heap q.heap push uh, type it out here h and then you push that element on there um, okay, now we're told here if uh, for the first two elements we just output negative one in the output list. Right? So if the length of h is less than three, we're going to do out dot append minus one. And then if it's greater than or equal to three, uh, let's do an else here. Um, if the length of h is greater than 3, then we want to pop, right? Because we always want to keep track of the largest 3. And we don't want to yeah, keep track of everything. So in this case, we do heap q dot heap pop of h, right? And then. Uh, what do we add to our output list? We just append the product of the, th the three elements in the heap, which, which will be the three largest. Because when we pop, we always pop the minimum, right? So that's the key, the key point here. So out that append, uh, and we could just do h0 times h1 times h2. At this point, we're guaranteed that there are three elements in this heap, right? So we could just multiply them like that. And then all we have to do is return our out list. So uh, let's see if that works. I do need to import heap q here, port heap q. And then let's run it to see if it works. Runtime error, heap q is not every heap push. OK, so I forgot a p. Is that right? Let's try that again. And of course, you could solve this problem sort of with brute force. But that would be, the point is, that would be a lot less efficient, right? So OK, we pass our tests. You should maybe write your own tests as well here. But uh, at least it passes these two. And I think, I think this is the basic idea, and it works. Uh, and so this allows you to do things basically in O of n, right? You just have to go through the list, the input list once. And you do need to keep track of this heap, but the heap never really grows, you know, longer than to a length longer than three or four, maybe. But uh, the heap size is basically fixed, and you're just looping through the whole array once, so it's going to be O of n. Uh, yeah. All right. Let me know if that's clear, or if you'd like me to do more videos on heaps and stuff. But I think I think this is the solution works for this problem. Thank you for watching.